just finished uh, my first round of treatment with what I call it MMT, Merck's Multimodal Therapy, uh, which just means I use five different energy modalities to treat different layers of the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and fat, all at the same time to get the maximum kind of a effect that non-invasive measures can deliver. I'm admittedly not a big believer or lover of non-invasive therapies, but I do use them day to day because of patient demand. Uh, I, I always disclose that you know, if someone needs an abdominoplasty, they're probably going to do all these therapies and get an abdominoplasty in the end. Uh, but there are patients that benefit a lot, and really the patients that need it the least are the patients that get the most. Uh, I realized after three years after a, a near lethal accident that um, uh, almost killed me and left me with some significant injuries to my neck, I've been unable to work out like I did in my previous life, and I've gained some subcutaneous fat. So again, I thought that the, the best way to openly demonstrate the abilities of non-invasive measures in my hands um, and their limitations with while controlling for diet exercise and camera lighting was to treat half my body. So my right side of my body I've just treated uh, with the first round of MMT, the left side is untreated. This way the public can judge for themselves uh, without wondering, oh is the lighting conditions different, is that why um, skin looks tighter, looser, uh, or the diet and exercise. Well, I do encourage diet and exercise with any of these treatments, so I am modifying my diet, high prote protein, low carb carbohydrate diet during this uh, um, experiment, but both sides of my body obviously are dieting. So uh, right now, I'm gonna demonstrate the changes I see in my body immediately after treatment. These are very subtle. Um, the true changes take six weeks. But we're going to update this blog, this video blog, every single week so you can watch the weekly changes of what I consider the best of the best of non-invasive therapy. It'll help patients decide whether or not this is for them and also demonstrate that yes, if used correctly, these technologies do work. Limited, but they do work and I hope to deliver uh, on the right side of my body a result that you don't have to squint at. They're going to say, well, it kind of looks better. Today, I expect you to squint that and say, does it, does it not look better? But with each week, uh, I think you'll become less and less skeptical. So here we go. Here I am exposing myself. And again, this is immediately after the first round of treatments. And so we, we all realize what the tar pits are. I have a significant little fat collection here. And for whatever reason, my body tends to collect fat here as well. I also have some crepey skin here. You can see the little, little shadows here. And if I bend over, you see one, two, three rolls there that um, I'd like to treat with the skin tightening. And my initial observations, if you look at the right side, which is treated versus left side, is that you'll see the central fat pocket here versus the central fat pocket here. Very subtle, but measurable difference. This is very difficult to measure fat collections, but if I grab the, the uh, delineation of the borders and squeeze firmly, I have just under four centimeters. And if I do this on the right, I have about just over three. So maybe half a centimeter reduction in the thickness of this fat pocket immediately. But what I think you will see is if I trace the shadow of the borders of this fat collection versus the shadow of the borders of this. You'll see there's a, there's a nice change there. This is shorter, the border is more defined. Very insignificant changes that I don't think it'd be worth paying money for, but again, this is immediate. This is day of treatment. Um, and then if we look out here and we look at the border of the main fat collection, see goes to about here. And that thickness. When we go over here, we can already see that if I squeeze this, there's just not a lot, there's not a lot here compared to the other side. 
And the border, well, I can't see where it goes, but it looks more something like this. If we compare this side to this side, we can see there's definitely some skin contraction and reduction of subcutaneous fat volume. The more impressive thing, I think, is that you can see the serratus abdominalis uh, definition up high here where the skin is thin already. You can see a separate chunk of serratus here on the border of, of the rectus abdominalis. And on this side, you see this kind of uh, pudgy fat ball, and it's not, we're not really clear where the anatomic definition is. But here we're very clear. We see the sharp anatomic definition here. And in the mid-rectus, you know, you have to squint at this, but I'd say there's more definition here, and there's definitely more definition here. So I can't even pick up that bit of muscle here. I can kind of pick up this, but we have more definition immediately, and this subpectoral definition is very sharp, very, very much more sharp. The subpectoral fold here, compared to here, this is a loose and, and multi-shadowed appearance where you kind of guess that the border's there. And here we have a very sharp line. This shadow is very sharp. Um, the other observation is you can faintly see a shadow here going up into the serratus abdominalis uh, uh, junction here. And I don't appreciate that here. I see uh, just light reflex. So there's a bunch of little features of added definition, nothing dramatic, but real findings that I think you don't need to really squint at. And if we go to the anterior most uh, uh, point that we can detect this fat pocket, it's here versus here, and that's a, that's a pretty huge difference. Um, grossly, the shape you see uh, from my torso to my abdominal bulge is right about, right about there versus right about here. It's dropped a little bit. It's lower. It's part of this being smaller and less noticeable. The crepe-like skin here. You can see it's much more severe here. There's lots of little tiny shadows and ripples. If I do the same thing here, it's there but much blunted. And this will keep getting better every week. Um, we didn't do a measurement here, but if we, if we did, there's probably a little, little change here. I'd, I'd call it about four centimeters. And I'd call it four and a half. So uh, very limited measurable changes, but some, let me just step back in the light so you can see the shadows better. So some better definition here, reduction of the size of the, uh, of the parent uh, fat pocket, which is again a combination of mostly the tightening of the skin and tightening of subcutaneous tissues and some rupture and, and, and uh, breakup of the fat below. And uh, the exciting part, part will start really next week when there's more, more uh, discrete definition and huge differences. But I think it's a pretty good start for immediately after the first treatment. Um, any questions can be posted on the blog on Facebook or email to me, and I'll answer them in the next video blog. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and I'll see you next week.